an idea for the pommel, so while I think about that, I'm going to cut out this sword. And then hopefully I can fit an X handle along here and then a big X head here. Second sword cut, and now I just need to neaten it up with the sander, and then I'm going to wrap some rope around the handle. The sword is done, and I did this knife for Arthur with the offcuts. So with the sword and the knife, I'm going to paint the blades grey, and then on the sword I'm going to wrap this with rope, as I said before, to thicken it up and make it look better than it is. So that's the next step. I've painted both these, and while they dry, we'll move on to making Arthur's tomahawks. So for his tomahawks, we're going to make the exact same ones that are on his shield, except just as a actual thing you can use. So these are going to be his weapons. Arthur's bouncing on the tramp in a sleeping bag, so he wants me to make his axe. So I've cut out the design. And the off cut from his shield is the perfect size for two axes. So this is what I'm going to make it out of. And that's the center I'm going to use. I've traced the axes. That's one head, that's the other. The jigsaw is plugged in and now I'm going to cut it out. Arthur's two axes have been cut out and um, here's what they look like. They match his shield. Now I'm going to paint the heads, and um, yeah. Arthur's weapon set is done. All we need to add is the bowl here and the handle on the other side. The design, I've thought of the design for the pommel of this. I'm going to cut down the with the grinder, bend these bits out, add a rock, and then bend them back over the rock. I reckon that'll look pretty cool. So that's what I'm going to do for the pommel. There's the sword done. That's the handle. I just cut all the way around. Ta-da! That's the pommel. So now I have a big copper sword. Mostly decorative, but... That's pretty cool. I love the pommel idea. The hilt on the decorative copper sword was loose, so I mixed up some epi glue. It stinks like mad, but that should hold the hilt down. And um, I also added a bit of the spare stuff to the pommel, so that should hold the rock in place. It's day three of making the Viking shields and weapons, and Dad's finally got the bowls. So there's my one, and that's Arthur's one. And how we're gonna um, get the jigsaw in there to cut the holes is I've drilled three holes that so that the saw can fit in, and that's how we're gonna cut around here, and then. That's the bowl I'm using. I have to be very careful because I can't go too close to the line because I draw it around the bowl and if that rim is, if I cut too far, it won't stop when it goes out so I've got to be careful of that. I finished cutting out the hole and the bowl Now for the handle. 
I got too excited and forgot to film the handle. But what I did is cut out a piece of ply, rectangle kind of thing, so that it had a lot of space around the bowl. And then um, I sanded the handle so it's nice and smooth all around. And I screwed it in from the front and I'm gonna have to paint over the screws. This is how big the handle's gonna be, and we're only gonna use that middle section there. These, this is just give, to give us space for when we screw it up. So now I'm just gonna sand it, and then screw it on. What I was doing at the moment is I'm just adding the screws to the front of the shield, but um, this drill bit is so long that it makes it wobbly, so I'm just getting them started with this shorter one, and I slipped and stabbed my finger. Just there. So that's annoying. But once I get the screw in, we'll be able to line it up on the other side with the bowl and then screw in. I lined up the two screws here, flipped it over. Like I lined up the handle with those two screws that were just poking through. I flipped it over carefully and then I screwed them in. And now Arthur's shield is done. So we made two shields, one sword, two axes, uh, two swords actually, and now we need an epic outro. One wood, we meet again. I challenge you to a duel. Battle to the death! Do you accept my challenge? Yep. Sword in hand and axe in head, Gondar dies.